I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Switch it up to all and you'll get all of our notifications here on Cutecast TV and Man Man with the Show. So Hollywood is at it again. They are playing the Hollywood Shuffle. To, not to coin a phrase there or a movie title. Um, basically, you're hearing delays of certain movies, but one particular movie is getting pushed forward and it's going to be coming at the beginning of next month you're familiar with the venom new venom movie venom let the let there be carnage it's going it looks like sony's moving it up but we'll read it off a of variety sony has altered the release plans for venom let there be carnage for the fifth and hopefully final time it goes to show you how crazy hollywood is just release the goddamn movie let it let it fall to whatever it's going to be you know if people are going to go see it they're going to go see it if they're not going to go see it they're not going to go see it you know plain and simple in a surprise move the comic, the comic book adaptation starring tom hardy as the journalist turned alien symbiote will debut in theaters earlier than expected on october 1st the venom sequel was scheduled to premiere in october 2020 but due to the pandemic excuses excuses was pushed back to june 2021 then late september and most recently october 15th i'm surprised it wasn't pushed to next year sony announced the new date for venom let there be carnage shortly after disney reporting a bigger than anticipating opening weekend for shang chi which that's another video in itself uh the studio's comic book adventure that's playing only in theaters uh the marvel movie collected 75.5 million over the weekend and a and a weekend mighty 90 million in his first four days yes and no and there's there's a big thing behind this crushing the labor day. <laughs> okay well, let me finish this line on it crushing the labor day weekend records those box office receipts we encouraging to the studios and movie theaters of owners alike who feared the delta variant of covid 19 would uh keep movie moviegoers at home the well-reviewed Shang-Chi, which is not really well-reviewed, uh, starring the Canadian out of Simi Liu and Aquafina, was was a sign the audience would visit their local multiplexes right for the right movie. No, it isn't. And I'll tell you why. In my neck of the woods, and I have an IMAX by me, my IMAX wasn't that full. Wasn't that full at all, number one. Number two... Labor Day had at least a 35% drop from the rest of the week from the rest of the weekend on there. And when they say crushing Labor Day weekend records, the last movie the last movie to gross highly on a Labor Day weekend, and this is why Hollywood do not does not push blockbusters on Labor Day was the Halloween movie which I think was the mid 2000s. It's 2021. Why do you think they say it's crushed Labor Day records? Labor Day is not really a movie push. Most companies wait till after Labor Day as we get toward the end of September into October, into the holiday seasons. You know, the horror films that come out in October. There's a reason why they come out in October. Because that's the Halloween season. But we got a video coming out and... Trust me, we're going to get into it this week. We were going to get into it the first week when he said, "Let's let's 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 have them let there have their lap for now." Because I know they they attacked um, the um, actor Simeon Lu attacked uh, Nerd Roddick and Heel versus Babyface and all that on Twitter. You know, taking a victory lap on there. But hey, listen, let's wait a bit. And by now, I would have received the new numbers on there. Continuing. In recent weeks, Sony has made minor shifts to its release slate. In August, they moved Venom back three weeks from September to October 15th before moving ahead to October 1st and pushed Ghostbusters Afterlife back one week from November 11th to November 19th after Paramount took Top Gun off its, 
uh, November 19th slot and delayed the Tom Cruise uh, tempo m- movie to tw- 2022. Andy Serkis is directing Venom Let There Be Carnage. The first film, uh, 2018's Venom, was a surprise box office smash, generating eight. $155 million at the global box office. The sequel will star Woody Harrelson, Michelle Williams, Reed Scott, and Naomi Harris. Now, the difference is with Venom. Number one, it's a different studio. It's not Disney. And I've always said, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. I don't like how they've handled the Venom character because Venom was a villain, per se. They're making him into like an anti-villain type or a hero. However, they, you want to put it to the perspective on there. It should have been a darker movie. It should have been an R-rated. I'm, I'm told that this is supposed to be an R-rated, but it may not be. I mean, it's a lot, a, lot of, a lot of shit out there these days as far as ratings go for there. Venom is supposed to be a dark one. I mean, I was expecting more of the other, uh, the other series to come out. Uh, we were expecting Mobius, but we're going to be waiting longer for that movie. And a couple of others that they're working on uh, in what we call the Sony Spider-Verse on there. And we've already seen the the trailer for the new Spider-Man movie that's coming out, which eh, I have a couple of questions on. It looks good, but I still got a lot of questions on that as well. One thing is you have to take with a grain of salt is that when you see a lot of these articles and they tout the success of a lot of these movies, look into the numbers. Look at what is it. I mean, the weekend that the uh, Shang-Chi movie came out, those articles, those articles were all pre-written. You could tell because most of them were saying the same things over and over and over again. Oh, and it beat out for, for Labor, Day, Labor Day numbers. God, man, you, you, you're, you're harking back to 2006? How many movies have been out since 2006 to two, to two to 20 to well let's say 2019 from 2006 to 2019 that opened on labor day you know not many not many big blockbuster movies have done have done there and understand hollywood does not do it because they know people are taking their last trips on that weekend who wants to be stuck in a movie theater and just and just to show you and just to show you that people wanted to be out and out and about is look at that weekend at the uh, college football stadiums. They were packed jammed. And Sunday was a, at, at was it the United Center in Chicago was the uh, AEW wrestling event. People were watching that more and college football than going to see Shang-Chi. I, I trust on that. And looking at the overseas numbers, La- that first weekend, 50 million? 50 million? You only did about 50, 56 million on there? Think about that for a minute. I, and Asia, you only did 2 million here, 2 million there. You know, Japan was about two and a, two, 2.6, I think it was. South Korea was the higher one, which was six six 6.5 million in Korea. And like I said, we, got, we have a Shang-Chi video coming out, so we'll go further into that, but it's nothing to be all happy about when we go through it. So Venom is coming a lot sooner. And we'll see what those numbers are like. And I'll tell you this. If it beats out Shang-Chi, <laughs> uh, we are really, really, we're going to be having some nice videos for you, Simi. So we've reached this part of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. Check out our merch shop at shopqtocast.com. Don't forget to check out our season premiere of Saturday Pre-Flight this Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern on your local social media platform, YouTube, BitChute, and later on on odyssey.com. Have a good week. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.